guys, it's Kimmy. Hey, we're on our way to head over to the kids' schools for Meet the Teacher. Tomorrow they start school. Yay! Super excited. Um, they're going to a charter school. They have an elementary, a junior high, and a high school. It's an awesome school. I'm excited that they're going to a new one this year. Challenge them and super psyched. So, my daughter is starting junior high. Oh, so scary. But uh, I have a few tips for you to help them. If you have kids going into junior high this year, it could be really scary. They're going to be really nervous because it's they're not just staying in one room. They're now going and having to walk to different classrooms and know where they're going and have a locker. So we toured the school last week with Callie. We did an um, orientation. So she's kind of familiar, but we're going to do the layout today with her of going from period to period. Uh, one little tip for you is in their lockers, print up a schedule for them and for A day and B day or whatever how your schools do it and hang it in their locker for them so they know what day, what letter day we're on and so she knows what classes she's going to. Why don't you hang your things? Well, it is late Tuesday night, around 10.30, quarter of 11, and I just finished school shopping with my daughter, daughter Kelly. And so um, I just wanted to talk about some traditions that we do for back to school. Um, every morning on the back to school day, I make chocolate chip pancakes and orange juice and blueberry muffins. And the kids look forward to it. and. Um, so they're excited for tomorrow morning. So, tomorrow morning's going to be crazy. Um, so I've decided that I'm going to make the pancakes tonight and the blueberry muffins tonight. So that way tomorrow morning we can concentrate on, you know, waking up early, which is going to be so weird to them. And so I'm going to prepare everything tonight so tomorrow morning won't be a hassle. So I'm starting on the pancake. Here's a tip. When you use the chocolate chips, don't put them in the batter because they, they all float to the bottom and then it's hard to get to them and it's never even. So I just, you know, put some in a bowl, just grab a little bit and then come on over and just drop them in. It's just easier that way. Um, I've tried to do it, you know, put them in the batter, but ooh, it's just, you know. And the kids love these. This is one of their favorite back to school traditions. And I didn't realize how much they loved it until one year. I honestly spaced it. I think it was the year before last. They were so sad. They were so disappointed that I didn't do it. So I did it the next day. So they truly love this. It's one of our favorites. And this is something fun and gets them excited. So yeah. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So. Here's a tip when you're making pancakes. Make more than usual. My kids are huge pancake eaters. So um, I make more than we eat. And then I stick them in the fridge for the week. Or you can put them on cookie sheets and freeze them individually. And you know put them in a freezer bag and stick them in the freezer. So if you go through a lot of pancakes like we do, make a big batch since you're already cooking and stick them in the fridge. They can even put them in the toaster and toast them up in the morning. We've done that. Or if you have a toaster oven, you know, stick them in the toaster oven. So, or just nuke them. I just wanted to show you this. Oma and Opa came by tonight to wish the kids good luck for school tomorrow. And so they made, they got this box of Lucky Charms and they put, Callie, Jonah, and Boston, you are so lucky to be to go to school, be a smarty, and learn lots and have fun. Love Oma and Opa. Isn't that cute? Oh my word. That's so cute. So that's a cute idea you could do for your kids to put out in the morning for them if you don't do pancakes. Or This is a fun tradition to do as well. I was at Walmart tonight getting extra school supplies and more school supplies for the kids for tomorrow. And if you live here in Utah, I'm pretty sure... 
Staples is national, their prices. Their comp composition notebooks are a dime. They, if it's the generic, you know, not mead or anything like that, but anything that's not like a name brand, it was 10 cents. So I, <laughs> this whole box is filled, and I have another box out in the living room filled with these composition notebooks. Okay, you're probably thinking, okay, crazy lady, why did you buy so much? Like, seriously, whole another box of these. Well, one, I work with the young women in our church, so they're, look, I mean, look how cute these are. These are, look how adorable. I got them in different, like, designs and really girly. They're great for journals. Um, you can, what, an idea that I have is for camp, we always keep them a camp journal. And so I was going to, I have a silhouette cameo machine, and I was going to cut out their name and, and then paste them or vinyl them on to the notebooks and give, like, a really nice pen with it. So you can give them as journals, you can give them as birthday presents, and, you know, put it, like I said, put a pen with them. Um, and we're always going through paper, we're always needing a notebook for something. But, you know... 10 cents, heck yeah. <laughs> so I stocked up, up on them. And you can also donate them as well. So if you know schools that are in need or friends, you know, it's it's a tough time right now with the economy. You can help people um, with their school supplies. So, and I have more down here. I mean, look at these patterns. Look how cute flowers and stripes and they are so cute. And you can get the normal black and white ones as well. And then at Staples as well, the 70 sheet one subject notebooks are also on sale for a penny. And they're the generic brand, not meat or anything. So I got a bunch of these for a penny. And I didn't go crazy with, with this kind because I do have some left over from last year. But they were only a penny, so we stocked up. And again, my kids love these. You know, if your kids love stickers, you know how they just love collecting them and wanting to stick them? They can make a sticker book and, and you know, put them on different pages. But, um, yeah, so if you are in need of some school supplies, check out Staples this week. Um, if you're not but would like to donate to a school, that'd be perfect. Or give them away to someone you know that needs it. So, I just want to give you another tip. Um, my daughter is going into junior high. And she hasn't started menstruating yet, but she's super nervous about it happening at school. So I got her a little pouch right here. So a good idea is, I mean, you can leave some in her backpack, you know, just stick some in there. But if something would happen, you know, or if your daughter already has is menstruating, she doesn't want to take this to the bathroom and be embarrassed. So I have some light days in here and I'm just going to throw like two pads in. That way she can just take this to the bathroom and no one knows what's in it. And so she can keep it in her backpack, she can keep it in her locker. Either way, no one's going to know what's in it and she won't feel embarrassed. So that's a tip for you. Okay, I'm packing the kids school lunches for tomorrow and here's their lunch boxes and I usually get them two each for two reasons. <laughs> okay, the first reason is because they always lose them. You know, sometimes we don't even get a month through school and they've already lost a lunchbox. So I get two. One where it's perfect for like sandwiches, that type of thing, and then one for containers. So um, this box that I got, Jonah, it's perfect for just for sandwiches. So inside, I made him like hoagies. He's got that. If he doesn't finish, see how big they are? If he doesn't finish it, he can have it later. But this kid usually eats all his food. So he's got his sandwich, his chocolate milk. These are so good, you guys. I got them at Costco, and they are organic chocolate reduced fat milk. Oh, my word. It is yummy. So he has his milk, his sandwich, a Go-Gurt. Stick these in the freezer if you don't already, and by the time they're ready for lunch, they're co still cold, and so. And then he loves his barbecue chips, 
and I'm about to put grapes in there. But this, this is cute. I found this online, and you wrap it around a candy bar, and it says, Always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Um, so yeah, I found it online. So this is a little surprise I'm putting in his in their lunch for the first day of school. So all I have to do now is add their fruit and stick the bags in the fridge. So in the morning, all we have to do is grab their lunch pails and head out the door. So, you know, make this part of your night routine that we talked about before. So I'm up really late tonight just because, you know, I'm still trying to catch up. Uh, first day of school, it's always crazy. So, but I'm sticking to my routine. And, you know, I'll be tired in the morning, but I'll be so glad I got it all done. So tonight I'm getting their lunches made, putting them in the fridge. All they have to do is grab their lunches and head out the door. So that's another tip for you tonight. Well, it's the morning of the first day of school. The kids are excited, Hi. nervous. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we had our pancakes this morning and our muffins and our orange juice, and they were super excited, but a little too nervous. They ate like one pancake. <laughs> I ate half of mine. You ate half of yours? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So, um, getting the school lunches ready last night was a blessing because I was so tired. Um, yeah, so That's our later I'll show you oh, some after school God. snacks that you could do with the kids that are yummy and fast. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, Shady. You excited? No. We're waiting for the bus. Oh, Shaylee, hi. She's not happy. Hi. Hi, Boston. Good morning. Good morning, Mom. You want to show us your folders, Jonah? What folders you got? BYU and... Where's your bacon? Show me your favorite one. Where's your bacon? Where's your bacon? Where's your BYU. So, we're waiting for the bus at the bus stop because they kind of switched up their routes a little bit, so we're just going to oh. talk to the bus driver. <laughs> You know, if your kids are taking the bus for the first time, it's probably a good thing to, you know, be there the first day and talk with the bus driver and, and um, you know, maybe the time they drop them off or pick them up might be different the next day, just depending on their route. So, you know, stay in touch with the bus driver. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. And my kids are getting off the bus super late, like close to 5 o'clock because of the route they're going to take. I think you guys get off the bus at 4.40 now. So they have to do 20 minutes of reading for homework. So they're going to get their reading done on the bus so that that way they could come home and either have dinner or a snack, depending what's going on, because Jonah Man has football. So, yeah, and I'm going to give you some tips later on how to make dinner time easier when you're a busy, crazy woman running around, or single father running around with your head chopped off. So, so yeah, so happy first day of school, everyone. Hope it goes good. Bye.